Are you thinking about taking your smartphone underwater and using the smartphone's camera to capture your underwater adventures? Well, if that's the case, then stick around because in today's video, we will review the Sea Life Sport Diver smartphone housing and we'll see if this housing is a good companion to keep your smartphone safe while taking it with you underwater. Hi and welcome back to the Underwater Filmmaking School and today's review video. Yes, it is review time again and it is great to see all your smiling faces. Now in today's video we'll be looking at the Sea Life Sport Diver smartphone housing and we'll talk about whether or not this is a good match for your smartphones um, if considering taking them underwater to capture your underwater adventures. Now, I've noticed lately that there is quite a few people out there in the community that think it is not a good idea to take your smartphone underwater and use it um, as your um, photography or filming camera while being uh, down below the surface. Now, while I can understand why they think this and I can see that there is a certain risk of, you know, flooding your cell phone um, and, uh, and potentially also losing all the data that is uh, saved on your smartphone, I personally don't really think that it is too big of an issue for a couple of reasons. First of all, if you're worried about the data on your smartphone, well, think about um, saving all that data. There is uh, fairly cheap plans on uh, sort of cloud storage that you can just back up um, everything that you've got on your phone, fully automatic, um, into a cloud-based solution. So if something happens to your phone, you can just get all your data from that backup uh, as soon as you've got your phone replaced. Um, when it comes to the quality of the camera, I think it would be a shame not to take use of the good cameras and the quality of the cameras that are built into our modern smartphones nowadays when we talk about filming underwater. Personally, I've done quite a few tests and personally I think that the um, cameras of modern smartphones, they're not short in any way when it comes to the quality compared to other action cameras out on the market at this stage. So for people who don't want to spend the extra money on a separate camera for filming underwater, it is a great solution in my opinion to just get a housing for their smartphone and use their smartphone, which they've got anyway ways already and use that to film and take photos and water. And yes, there's always going to be a risk of um, flooding your smartphone when taking it underwater, like with any other camera that you take underwater. But let's be honest, most of the modern smartphones nowadays, they are sort of splash proof or waterproof to a certain degree. So even if the housing um, lets some water into uh, the housing and onto your smartphone, the chances or the risk of your smartphone being severely damaged, I would say are not immensely high. So that's just something to keep in the back of your mind when you're deciding whether or not you want to take your smartphone underwater. Of course, this is always a personal choice and I'm not saying you must take your smartphone underwater uh, and use your smartphone to film and take photos underwater, but I'm just trying to make this clear here a little bit that I don't think you're um, putting your smartphone at a a huge um, risk when taking it underwater, specifically with the smartphone housings that we've got nowadays and all the features that they've got built into them to keep your smartphone safe while being underwater. And with this said and out of the way, let's move on. I personally have been using the Sea Life Sport Diver smartphone housing for about half a year now. 
I got it when I bought my iPhone 13 Pro um, in sort of September, October last year when it first came out. And uh, this is actually not a sponsored video. See Life didn't send me the smartphone housing. I bought it with my own money because I was really curious to see how well it works in combination with my iPhone 13 Pro. And to be honest, it has turned into my favorite smartphone housing. Now, before we get into the benefits and the drawbacks of this specific housing, let's have a look at some sample footage that I was able to record using my iPhone 13 Pro in combination with the Sea Life Sport Diver smartphone housing. If you don't want to look at the um, sample footage and you rather want to go straight into the benefits and drawbacks of the housings, you can just skip this portion, but I wouldn't recommend so. Enjoy. To this day, I'm very impressed at how good the footage looks that comes out of the smartphone cameras. Now, keep in mind that the quality of the footage that you're gonna get out of your smartphone immensely depends on the quality of the camera that has been built into your smartphone. The better the camera and the more light sensitive the camera is that your smartphone has, the better your underwater footage will look, obviously. All right, and now let's get into the benefits and the drawbacks of the Sea Life Sport Diver smartphone housing, in my personal opinion and from my personal experience. First of all, I want to mention the build quality. And I think that Sea Life has really done a good job here in creating a sturdy um, and high quality housing for smartphones. Um, even though it is made pretty much completely out of polycarbonate, and I'm not a big fan of polycarbonate housings, which basically is just another way of saying it's made from plastic, but it seems like they have really made a sturdy and 
high quality housing here, which can take quite a bit of a beating and will last you for a long amount of time. Secondly, I do really like that the housing comes with a vacuum system and a um, leak detection alarm integrated into it. This means that you've got two things that will keep your, um, your cell phone, your smartphone safe while being underwater. The vacuum system will basically make sure that you have a under pressure inside your housing um, and that no water will leak into the housing as long as that under pressure stays stable. Now, if water gets into the housing for whatever reason, there is the leak detection alarm, which is located at the bottom of your housing. And even the smallest droplet of moisture on there will set off the alarm. And trust me, it's a very annoying alarm um, that will be very noticeable even underwater and that will remind you that it's time to surface slowly and safely and take the housing out of the water, um, open it up and see what's happening inside there. So with having these two safety features integrated in the housing already, it keeps the risk of flooding your phone while being underwater very, very low, obviously as long as you use the housing in the way it was intended to. You will also get a red filter with the purchase of your Sea Life Sport Diver smartphone housing. And I think it was a very smart move of the guys at Sea Life to integrate that red filter as well. A red filter is gonna be very beneficial when using automatic white balance to just help you getting more red colors into your image and just getting a more accurate white balance when filming underwater. On most other housings, a um, red filter is not integrated and you have to buy it separately. That's not the case with the Sea Life Sport Diver smartphone housing. And I think that's a very good thing. Thank you very much Sea Life for including that red filter in the base package. To use your smartphone inside the um, Sea Life Sport Diver smartphone housing, you will need to use the Sea Life Sport Diver app, which you can download for free for iOS and for Android devices. Um, the connection is very simple. It works through Bluetooth um, and the app actually works very, very well. It's very easy to use and you can set a lot of the things manually inside the app. What I really like about the app is that it is, um, from my knowledge, the only app on a smartphone housing that will allow you to use all different lenses on your smartphone model. So if you have a smartphone that has not just one, but like here on the iPhone, three different lenses, you can actually choose inside the app which lens you want to use at a specific time. So if you're trying to shoot something small, a macro shot, you can use your, um, your portrait um, lens or your telephoto lens. If you want to shoot a normal scene, you can use your normal wide lens. And if you want to shoot um, a uh, if you want to shoot something very wide or you want to get very close to an object and do the super macro, you can use your ultra wide lens um, and get a shot that way. So having that option, I find very, very cool um, and something that I've been missing a lot in other smartphone, um, underwater smartphone housings available on the market at this stage. And last but not least, the Sea Life Sport Diver smartphone housing comes in a nice little travel case, which you can just put into your luggage and take with you that way. And I think that that's a great little inclusion there as well from the Sea Life team to have a travel case like that just makes it uh, so much more um, convenient and easier to um, safely transport your smartphone housing from your home to your dive destination or your holiday dive destination, wherever you wanna take it for your dives. Quick side note here, guys, before we continue with this review, 
if you want to try out the um, Sea Life Sport Diver smartphone housing first hand for yourself, you have the chance to do that during our underwater videography workshop that we are holding on Bonaire Island starting on April 30th and lasting all the way through to May 7th this year. Inside the workshop there is still a couple of spots left. We've got one double or twin room still available and if you happen to travel by yourself we do have two spots in a one bedroom apartment. One being shared with a female and another one being shared with a male uh, participant of the workshop. Um, during that workshop we're not only going to be teaching you everything we know about filming underwater and making sure that we can step up your underwater videography game to the next level but you're also going to get the chance to test out uh, a variety of different equipment. Obviously as I said the Sea Life Sport Diver smartphone housing but there's going to be other cameras for you that you can try out other housings that you can try out, lights, floats and so on and so forth. So if this sounds interesting, click the link down in the video description, which will take you to the landing page um, and all the information about the workshop. And if you want to inquire about the availability and the space on that workshop, make sure to send me an email to bookings at matthiaslibo.com. Obviously there is also a couple of things that I don't really like about the um, Sea Life Sport Diver smartphone housing. One of them is definitely the response time of the app. Now I said before in the benefit section that I really like the app and how it's laid out, how it works and that's really true. I do like it. But I would wish that the response time from pushing a button until it switches into the next menu section, uh, I really wish that that would be a little shorter. It always takes like half a second or so when I press the button until it gets to the next menu point and I can then change the setting. So it sometimes gets a little challenging if you want to change settings really quickly because uh, you're moving away from taking a macro shot uh, to taking a wide angle shot or vice versa and you really want to go quick this is, can be uh, a little challenging and difficult because you just have to wait for the app to catch up. So that's the only downside to the app that I have from my side. The response time could really be a little quicker. The housing, as I mentioned beforehand, is pretty much entirely made out of polycarbonate. And polycarbonate uh, tends to keep the heat inside the housing. It doesn't let the heat dissipate as well into the surroundings as other materials do, like um, aluminum and uh, uh, steel, for example. Um, this can cause a problem if the heat inside the housing gets too big and condensation starts to form and that can happen quite easily with the cell phone inside just heating up as it's been used throughout the dive. Now with polycarbonate housings what you need to do or what you can do to counteract that is use little uh, moisture bags um, and Sea Life calls them moisture muncher bags, they're little uh, things that you put inside your housing and they will take up the excess moisture that um, gets created inside the housing and it, they will prevent the the element, the front element of the lens from fogging up. So there is a solution and it works well. I've never had any issues with a fogged up lens on this housing, but it's just an extra step that you have to take and you have to replace these little bags um, on quite a regular basis so that, um, that the moisture doesn't form up inside the housing. If it was made out of aluminum or steel, this could have been prevented, but Sea Life has decided to go for a polycarbonate um, housing, probably also um, because of the um, reduced cost in producing such a housing using that material. Another thing that I don't particularly like about the um, Sea Life Sport Diver housing is that it uses batteries, just normal AAA batteries um, for its power supply. Obviously it needs power to be able to connect via Bluetooth to your um, smartphone and then being able to be used through your smartphone. 
um, but I would have liked to see a integrated battery pack that is chargeable via USB-C or something rather than having disposable batteries um, that you need to replace every now and then. I mean, they do um, last quite a while, um, so it's not really a big issue, but from an environmental um, sort of point of view, I think it would have been wiser to have an integrated battery pack in there. Again, I think they've gone this way because it was more cost effective producing a housing um, with that feature rather than integrating a battery pack. So to sum up and bring this video to an end, um, I really think that the Sport Diver smartphone housing by Sea Life is a great little tool for taking your smartphone underwater and using the camera inside your smartphone to capture your underwater adventures. At a price point of 350 US dollars for the housing, I think this is very reasonable. Um, and with all the features built into the housing, I think this is a really good deal. As I said at the beginning of the video, it is still my absolute favorite smartphone underwater housing at this stage and I'm going to take it with me again on the next trip that we're doing. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much guys for your time and for watching and I hope that this video was useful to you and you've got something out of it. If that's the case, please do not forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel so you're not missing out on any reviews that will be published here in the future. And now head out there and capture your amazing underwater adventures and I will see you next week.